Yo, what's the word, y'all? I'm back. It's been a long time, but I'm back. You feel what I'm saying? All right, look, so I'm about to show y'all a quick way to zoom in and out of your footage using just cameras, 3D layers, and After Effects. So once you get up in here, right, you want to, first of all, if your PC is good enough, keep it in full, but um, yeah, sake of the tutorial, I'm going to put it in quarter. Get up in here, highlight both your clips. If you don't see this little toolbar over here, right? You want to toggle these these little buttons over here. This one, it expands your layers. You know what I'm saying? You get to highlight and click the motion blur and then turn on the 3D layer. And let's just add one camera. Because you just want to split it in between, right? And now this is where the fun happens. Uh, you hit little arrow on transform, hit the point of interest and the position of the camera. And now, you take this part right here right since i'm trying to zoom out i'm gonna move these keyframes to the end of my footage right well end of this clip and i'm gonna zoom in by pressing c you can change like this one let you rotate this one let you move around on some uh free cam this one zooms in and out right but i'm just zooming out so i'm gonna zoom in and also you can turn on your title and action safe if you want to uh, center your object as well, just to give it a little more focus. And yeah, and zoom in real close, you know. I'm going to highlight both of those keyframes, hit F9. I'm going to come to your graph editor. And if you if your graphs don't look like this, you want to hit the graph type option over here next to the eyeball and change it from value. If you have it on value, change it to speed. You know I mean? And you want to highlight both of these and just back to you you're right since we're zooming out and i want this to like build up into the zoom um i'm gonna drag these to the right and then let's come over here to uh, the next piece of footage and let's bring the drop down on this camera transform uh, point of interest and the position and we're gonna zoom into this dude's eye you know what i'm saying it might look noisy but that's because i got an a7 III. if you got a better footage you got a better camera just know this it's fine, you know what I'm saying? Especially with that motion blur in it. And since we did that zoom in, now we're gonna come to like maybe the end of this clip. And we're gonna highlight both of those keyframes. And we just gonna uh yeah, bring these to the left. Bring these to the left, making sure that we have all of the keyframes highlighted is key because if one of these you know is highlighted while you're moving it, it's gonna give you a weird movement. I'll show you by example. I mean, it did give me a, it did give me a swaggy rotation, but that's just, that, that's just this time that we're going to show y'all today. You're going to learn today. We're going to show y'all today. If you want to grab both of your rims, you're going to get an ugly zoom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, so fix your ramps, have them looking the same. And yeah, you should be good. So that's really it for this tutorial. But if you really want to source this up, you just grab a handy dandy adjustment layer. For the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to use regular After Effects plugin. So we're just going to add like a margin blur. All right. And we're going to add an exposure. All right. Blurriness. We do a build up. Bring that blurriness up. And bring that exposure up. And we could make this zero again. Highlight those keyframes, buddies. Mm -hmm. you feel me but for this music video like you know since this is client work i'm definitely gonna uh scrap this and i'm gonna go with some vhs type of looking stuff and some posterized time and yeah but yo if you enjoyed this you know drop a like comment subscribe make sure y'all liking these videos bro because it throws your boy j sites in the algorithm bro feel what i'm saying if y'all go check out the website i got a whole bunch of presets 3d overlays and all kind of jazzy stuff for y'all you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah it's real swaggy up there i just gotta get the ui to look better you know but definitely drop by the website and check it out man uh i'm gonna catch y'all later though much love peace out